This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com, a fantastic site for retro games, systems, accessories, and more. Be sure to check out StoneAgeGamer.com. Skip it up and that up. So a lot of you guys send me information from forums. Y you mean no harm. You have nothing but good intentions. You're just trying to get me information before it gets big, and I appreciate that. But this article, this news story I'm about to talk about is why I will never ever use information from forums. I appreciate you sending me the news, but shit like this is why I will not use a forum for a video news topic. So that good old reliable Pete Dodd, aka Famous Mortimer, had some more super secret inside information on the director behind Drive Club, Cole Rogers. This is what he's been saying throughout the week. The director of Drive Club doesn't deliver the game on time. Given more time, the game still needs work. He is replaced. And Cole Rogers, the guy who was behind Drive Club, saw all this negative press around him due to Pete Dodd, got pissed, and wrote a rebuttal. This is part of what he had to say. It's fairly long. I'll have a link to the full article in the description below. Here is a snippet of what Cole wrote on NeoGAF. This is my first post on NeoGAF, and whilst I'm not generally one to deal in internet speculation, I have to put the record straight with regard to Pete Dodd's comments above. I left Evo in February for personal reasons. The personal reasons being that my son, who is four years old, has been diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome, which is a life-threatening kidney disorder. I looked into it. He goes on to say, I live 220 miles, four-hour drive, my God, away from evolution studios and was away from home 5.5 days a week given the circumstances i could not continue to work there the games industry is a tough place at the moment my circumstances with my son mean that i've had to leave secure work in order to try to make my own way in the world this may entail getting another job with people who obviously know nothing about the situation blackening my reputation for the sake of internet quote-unquote fame this could be made much more difficult it's nothing less than trolling amen brother uh, he goes on to say as well, I've contacted Mr. Dodd on his email address on his site. Due to the factual inaccuracy of his statements, I've informed him that he needs to remove the statements and apologize for the damage that he has caused, as posting incorrect information and claiming it's true is quite simply liable. And Pete Dodd actually responded on Twitter, and this is what he had to say. I hereby decree that I am retiring from my position of Gaff Insider. Retiring, dude? Whatever the fuck that ever meant. From henceforth, good day, gents. I love the like English gentleman thing he throws in there. Uh, he goes on to say, I have talked to Cole Rogers personally, and his side of the story is vastly different than what I posted yesterday on Gaff. And he also wrote that lifetime for being a fake insider, meaning he can never go on NeoGaff again. He is banned for life. From NeoGAF. Now, for a millisecond, I know a lot of you people are going to be shocked by this. I'm actually going to defend P. Dot because I've been in this situation personally before where you have trusted sources, they give you inside information, and then you find out that it's all fucking wrong. <laughs> and you're you're shit out of luck okay so I, I if that is what happened and he had trusted sources and they either purposely or accidentally told him misinformation about cole rogers and drive club then i do feel for him because i've been there but if Pete Dodd knew this was false information and still put it up on the internet just because he wanted his name all over ign and GameSpot and wherever the hell else he's been then dude you're a fucking loser Go off into the sunset, go do whatever you got to do and stay the fuck off of the internet because I just, oh my God, I'm rubbing my head because it just, it, it blow it gives me a headache thinking about how pathetic can you be if this, he did this on purpose, that you will put out false information and hurt someone's credibility just so people talk about you, just so you seem important for five minutes, just so pe you're just so you're quote unquote internet famous, which you really aren't. You're barely famous among a bunch of internet nerds like myself. You know what? Like, what is it worth? What is it worth lying and hurting someone else's credibility just so people talk about you? I don't know. Maybe because I have more self-esteem than that, and I'm not that attention hungry. Maybe that's why I can't wrap my head around it. But whatever. 
it, it bit you in the ass, man. I mean, like I said, if you got information from credible sources and they fucking told you lies and they're people that you usually trusted and they screwed you over, I do feel bad. But if it's the latter and you purposely put out false information just to be an internet attention whore, then you just stay anonymous and cease to exist. It's better for you. All right, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link to the news article via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.